Hiya! Welcome once again to Starla's Art Studio. Unless you're new, then hiya! Nice to virtually meet you. Today is another Edit Girls Fresh Fashion video. The last Fresh Fashion video was the official jump away from fruit as we moved on to veggies. It was the Leaves and Puffs group with Broccoli, Lettuce, and Cauliflower Girls, so you can go check that one out if you haven't already. Today's an interesting group as none of these veggies really have anything in common, and one of them isn't even a veggie. Or maybe two of them, but don't worry, you'll see that one in a bit. So this first one is Penelope the Sweet Pea Girl. So at first glance, I don't know if her original vague design or silhouette or I don't know, maybe hairstyle rings any mental bells about who she might have been inspired by. It, it, it's, has, it's Hatsune Miku. <laughs> okay, so I remember being really young, and even back then I would try to find reference pictures and just for whenever I was going to draw something. And I remember among a bunch of random anime girl drawings, I saw this design of Sakura Miku, or Cherry Blossom Miku, or just Cherry Miku. And I literally had no idea who she was, and this might have been the first version of Hatsune Miku I ever saw. And I was like, oh hey, that looks nice. I could draw the hair like this totally random anime girl that probably has no connections or popularity to the general public. Yay! <laughs> I just thought, oh that's cool, they kind of look like pea pods, so that's what I did for her hair. Of course, some years later I did find out who Hatsune Miku was. And bit of a side tangent, I think the technology they use for her singing and all those concerts is really cool. Anyways, yeah, I just gave her super long hair, big sleeves, and boots. But I didn't know a lot about fashion back then, so her outfit looks quite bottom heavy and not as flattering as it could be. So today, I'm completely reworking her entire design with a the theme of sweet peas. But before getting into what I added for her new look, how about some sweet pea facts? According to FarmerFoodShare.org, sweet peas, also known as sugar snap peas, are cute little plump veggies that come in 2 to 3 inches or 5 to 8 centimeter pods. The peas can be eaten in or outside of their pods as their pods are edible. They have plenty of fiber, vitamins, and minerals like vitamin C, A, and folate. It's in season around late spring and fall. I usually like to look at when a fruit or veggie is in season to get a good idea of how heavy or light the clothes should be for the character. Since it's late spring and fall for sweet peas, I wanted to give her an outfit that feels like it could be- So moving on to her outfit inspiration, the first thing I knew I wanted to look for was for any pieces that looked round and similar to the pea pods. First I searched for loose light tops with lantern sleeves. I felt like this has a cute round pod shape that could work for it. I wanted the first top to be translucent and then have a cute heart neck tank top to be like the peas inside the pod. So for a top, she has a mesh button down lantern sleeve shirt over a dark green camisole style top. For her pants, I knew I wanted something like jeans or high waisted pants that are tight near the waist and ankles to create a pea pod shape. I started with reference images of high waisted jeans and eventually I started finding images of just the kind of pants or similar to the pants I was looking for. I even found some green ones that were similar to what I had intended for the drawing. I almost gave her cargo pants, but I wanted a slightly different style. And this is what I went with. Because pea pods open on the side, I decided to add a little extra design detail and have the inseam of the pants, or the part that's between the pant legs, and have it be able to open from the ankle to the knee. I added a pea around her ankle and as the buttons. For her shoes, I wanted them to look cute and round, so I chose some cute dark green pumps with a bit of a platform. For jewelry, like in the first drawing, I just gave her little peas to be like pearls as bracelets and earrings. And as I think is the most obvious, I drastically changed her hair. Instead of being really, really long and honestly quite heavy looking, I changed them to be short and pea pod shaped, to be a cute little bob cut with bangs. Which all together completes her outfit. So here is Penelope the Sweet Pea Girl. This next one is the Mushroom Girl. Specifically, the edible breed known as a crimini mushroom. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> because these mushrooms are short and small for this design, I decided to make this character a little girl named Mindy. All I really did with her redesign was make her seem a little cuter and updated her outfit. So before that, some mushroom facts from webmd.com include that crimini mushrooms are a similar type of mushroom as white button and portobello mushrooms, but just at a different age. Portobello mushrooms are the biggest and oldest, while the white button are the smallest and youngest. Crimini are right in between. 
Unlike many of the other fruits and veggies I mentioned, these mushrooms aren't that high in vitamins and minerals, however the enzymes and bacteria in them can do a lot for your body, like potential immune system boosting and reduced salt intake. Relating to her outfit, I took a similar route as I did for the Kiwi Girl. I looked for some cute little children's fashion with some outfits with puffy sleeves because I knew I wanted the puffy sleeve look so it would look like the top of the mushroom. So for her top, she has a cute light brown shirt with short puffy sleeves and little bows on the shoulders. In her first design, she had a hat similar to a sun hat, but I wanted it to be a bit different to match the mushroom shape better. I replaced the sun hat with a chunky bucket hat. Some of the pieces I saw go with puffy sleeves are skirts, suspender skirts, overalls, and puffy shorts. I went with puffy shorts. They look a little bit more like the stems of mushrooms. Just for decoration, I added little bows on them too. And for her shoes, I almost gave her some cute dolly-like shoes, but I gave her rain boots instead because mushrooms grow in wet, moisty places. She has boots in her, she has boots in her original design too, but I think they were just meant to be regular boots to represent the mushroom stem. So instead, I decided to add that extra little detail in there. And here she is, Mindy the Mushroom Girl. The third girl in this group is Becky the Bell Pepper Girl. I knew when I found this drawing again that I wanted to seriously update her look. I did more research about where bell peppers came from and when they're in season to get my first bit of inspiration for her new design. Some of that and more information I found about this produce from natureandmore.com is that bell peppers originate from Central and South America and were taken back to Spain in 1493. They're also apparently a really good source of vitamin C. Huh. And apparently, the center of bell peppers that are usually thrown out are edible. Ooh, <laughs> and technically they're not a veggie either since they come from a flowering plant. <laughs> I guess I haven't really passed the fruit phase of my fresh fashion series. Some more facts about this fruit include that red bell peppers are just green peppers that were left on the plant to ripen more and are sweeter than the green ones. Even more facts from 100 dollars amonthcom are that bell peppers are the only pepper that doesn't produce capsaicin, which if you've ever watched any somewhat sciencey YouTube video about peppers, you would know that it's a chemical that makes peppers spicy, technically as a defense mechanism basically to keep anyone from wanting to eat them, which is pretty ironic since some people have specifically bred them to make them more spicy. Because I know some peppers we have today didn't exist before people started breeding them to be unreasonably spicy. But anyways, according to this source, bell peppers can be grown all year round so they don't have a specific season. So for this design, her outfit wasn't really meant for any specific season, I based it more so on the shape of the pepper. But overall, it does kind of look a little more spring or summery, just kind of in the warmer weather. And speaking of how she looks, pretty sure you can tell now she looks pretty different. Her hair has been changed to a cute bob, which actually makes me think of Ochaka's hair now that I think about it. <laughs> but I changed the bell pepper stem from a headband into that fun little hair loopy that some anime characters have. I'm pretty sure it's called an ahoge. For her top, I also gave her a shirt with a puffy sleeve. Haha, <laughs> well I've really been into puffy sleeves lately, but um, yeah, the a puffy top with puff creases to be shaped like bell peppers. I decided to give her the suspender shorts because I thought it seemed like a cute piece and would make the suspenders look a little bit like bell pepper stems. Her shoes are pretty basic tennis shoes, or sneakers. I think I would have liked them if they had a little bit less color saturation, but it's cute. She also doesn't have a lot of jewelry or other accessories, but I did give her a translucent scrunchie. Overall, I really like her design. I have a few mixed feelings about the overall color balancing, but I think she turned out cute. What do you think? Out of all of these three, which was your favorite? Was there anything you didn't know already about them? But yeah, here's... Oh. Oh yeah, I changed her name. <laughs> Instead of Becky the Bell Pepper Girl, because they come from South America and Mexico area, I named her Beja the Bell Pepper Girl, or Bella. I had fun with her design. And all three of them together are Penelope the Sweet Pea Girl, Mindy the Mushroom Girl, and Bea the Bell Pepper Girl. Which one is your favorite if you have one? Would you like to see any of these as stickers? Or any of the older drawings as stickers, either as they are or maybe getting another redesign? Like maybe the Corn Girl or the Pumpkin Girl? Anyways, before I go Audi, my Etsy shop is still open with stickers and the most recent commission listing along with a little extra thing there so you can go check that out. But yeah, it's there in case any of you find that easier than using the Google form that I have for my commissions. But yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as I'm most active there, and I hope you all have a stellar day! Bye!